Hello, hello there. Welcome. Nice meeting you. I'm Joni. I will be your therapist today. How are you? Oh, I see. Well, you are in the right place. Today we are going to be doing your EFT therapy. Is this your first time trying it? Okay, do you know about it and its benefits, how it works? Hmm. A little bit different for you. Well, EFT therapy consists in allowing your emotions um, making them feel more controlled in some occasions letting them go for people that might be struggling with an emotion that is stuck in us sometimes emotions can be difficult to navigate and even control and they take over us so what we do here is helping you controlling them and helping you let them go so Emotion is something that we should never, ever try to not feel them. We should feel them, acknowledge them, and then letting them go. If we try to just keep them, keep the emotion, let's say, anger. We keep angry, 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 and we can let it go. We cannot let go that resentment. It's going to end up poisoning us or sadness it will turn into a deep depression and so so on so what we are going to be doing here is giving you tools to manage this emotion to let them go and this also helps us with other conditions that these emotions can trigger in our body such as depression as i was telling you insomnia migraines anxiety and in some cases even depression most of these are triggered by our emotions our inability to control them so what we are going to be doing here is helping you with this technique which is the emotional freedom technique it should mean only letting go of those emotions with certain triggers which we are going to be doing with tapping therapy. I know it sounds quite simple, but we are going to be doing it on this focal point in our faces that we are going to be triggering you and we're going to teach you how to do it on yourself so it can help you whenever you are in a crisis. So we have all these points in our faces and along our body too but mostly we work here with our faces that is yeah it's kind of like acupressure acutherapy but the therapies are meant to treat the body only what we are going to be doing here is work with our emotion and our mind so we have this points in our faces that I'm going to show you how to trigger and point that is going to help you reduce those stressful moments when maybe your emotions are getting the best of you. It happens to all of us. Believe me, it's something very normal. I'm going to be doing this with bare hands. It's the best way to do it. With gloves, you can really work the touch feeling that it's needed for the therapy. Let me just clean my hands. Mm, when you do it by yourself, I normally suggest to have clean hands before touching our faces because our hands tend to be sometimes dirty and have bacteria that we don't want in our faces. But when we are in crisis, the least thing that we are going to be thinking about is yeah washing your hands so let me just disinfect my hands is your face clean okay yeah, i don't want to trigger any bacteria on you and giving you allergies 
very good okay there is no need to tell me what your emotions are or what it's overwhelming for you but i would like to know which emotion in particular is the one that you're struggling the most hello lovelies before you continue with your treatment i want to talk about our sponsor for today's video a scent bird that they have sent me four fragrances that i found very very relaxing i'm not normally a person that wears a lot of perfume so i'm very picky about what i use because i tend to get a little bit overwhelmed with the aromas and i never want to commit to a full bottle so scentbird is a subscription based website that allows you to choose your best fragrances depending on your taste and what you like and they have submitted this for fragrances that right now what i like the most is this one which is called people are people because of course it comes in its protective case the aroma i find it quite relaxing the fragrance is not that strong it's very soft something that i can be wearing all day long without feeling overwhelmed by the aroma and to be honest very very pretty this one as they send you here with these ingredients it has fresh bergamot pink pepper vanilla to rose creamy satin so it's quite natural the aromas look at that pretty the other one that I like a lot and I think it's gonna be one of my favorites here would be this one it's called Petite Cherry very adorable aroma which is actually what I want to wear right now it's almost like just getting out of the shower so fresh so beautiful oh uh, let me tell you about the ingredients on this one that i think are super cute pear rose vanilla and freshly cut herbs that's why it feels like you just got out of the shower very very fresh what i'm looking more on the fragrances is that it's relaxing for me and i hopeful that it's gonna be relaxing for you too just take a look at the lovelies, I received these four fragrances that I think you will love it too. Each comes with its information card here that you can see, and also its protective case. So you can use them whenever you want to go, put it in your purse quite easy. <laughs> yeah, uh, quite messy, so it's nice to have this protective case. And what I love about Semper is that it's super affordable. As I was telling you, your first month is only $8. After that, less than $17, you get a 30-day supply, enough to really experience each fragrance before deciding if this is the one you want to go with the full bottle. Plus, with over 600 brands from big names like Prada and Versace to niche labels, you're sure to find something that will match your vibe or what you like. And they also have this personalized quiz that is great for discovering new scents too. So give it a try. <laughs> so lovelies, if you like it and you want to give it a try, use my code JONI for 55% off on your first order. First is $8 per month and after that, just less than $17. So give it a try. You can scan the code right here or go to the link down below i hope that you enjoy it and please enjoy your treatment bye bye yeah with the emotions any emotion is treated the same with your therapy just would like to know what can trigger on your body are you able to sleep properly mm -hmm. okay are you doing any workout at home or at the gym? Okay. How is right now your sleep schedule? Are you sleeping well? 
Okay. So let me tell you how this is going to work. I'm going to start first with therapy, doing it myself. I'm not going to guide you through on what I'm doing. After we are done with therapy, I'm going to teach you how to do it yourself. Okay? First of all, I would like to start my sections applying some essential oils. This also helps with the relaxation and allows us to calm down a little bit. But during crisis, uh, we might not even remember that we might have to put on some essential oils. So that is completely fine. In case that you remember, it will be a good option. Now, I have this set of essential oils that I believe are the best for this type of therapies. And it's something that is easy to find and you can have at home. I do suggest you to, whenever you have a crisis, maybe uh, take a bit of a drop of essential oils and put it behind your ears, maybe below your upper lip. It will be great. So here, uh, it will be mostly your personal choice. We have papyra, we have essence, thieves, lavender, paraway, mint, lemon, we like something refreshing. Okay, we can go with this purification essential oil, which is a mix. Oh yeah, we make our own blends here. We have them for sale in our front door. Okay, let me know what you think about this one. Well, whenever you have a crisis, if you're able to remember, you can apply just one drop in your hand because this is quite deep and powerful. So you don't want to overwhelm your senses with this. You're going to be applying it both fingers and I'm going to put it behind your ears. Add with the rest in your upper lip. Just try not to lick it, okay? Because it will be very, very bad to taste. <laughs> very good. Are you ready? Good. So as I was telling you, the first part of our therapy will be without context on what we are doing. Okay, are you ready? You can keep your eyes closed, look down, look straight to me, it's okay. Whatever you feel more comfortable with. I'm going to be touching your face while I'm doing this. Ready?
very good. May I open your eyes now? And apply a little bit more of the essential oils. This time I'm going to be applying with a cotton. Especially on the sides of our forehead. Right here. Now, I'd like you to just stay quiet for one minute. Try to focus in whatever you want. Right here can be the lights, the plant, the sounds of the air, whatever you want, but try to stay quiet, if it's possible, not have a thought in your mind. I'll be back. Hello again. Very well. So tell me, how do you feel about that? Mm -hmm. It took your mind out of the thoughts in your head. Yeah, this is what it's designed for to make you. Stay away from your feelings, to stay away from what you're thinking about in the moment and focusing on what is happening on the exterior. This is a physical trigger, which is what we call for this type of therapy. This is to help our emotions be felt, but then release them. Let's say that you're in a moment that you're extremely sad, you're crying, you cannot stop, you you feel your body tired from so much crying. What you would like to do is find a trigger, something that is allowing you to get out of that mental state, of that emotion. Most of the time, the best thing to do is exercise. But at those moments, we might not be able to control our body, our minds to put our bodies into that motion that is a big motion to move our bodies and trigger therapy is way easier and more attainable during those moments I don't know if you noticed that I was doing it in a rhythmic mode yeah you notice the rhythm yeah this is how it's triggered it hasn't it doesn't have to be in a specific rhythm not what I did in specific it just has to be a rhythm, something that your brain is noticing that the tapping is doing, a sound, and it's touching your face. So, what we're going to be doing is finding these external triggers to let our emotions go, let our body kind of forget what it was doing. But the most important thing here is try to be mindful. Of these emotions. I'm feeling sad. I'm feeling angry. I'm feeling tired. I'm feeling stressed. So the moment we are acknowledging these emotions, we can control what it is. Other times we don't even know what is going on. Especially if we have problems with hormones. That is something that sometimes is quite difficult to navigate. But it still it can help. So, what we are going to be doing is, take one finger. Maybe if you are outdoors, if you're in public, it can look a little bit odd. So we can try to be more 
this great, something like this. I'll be mindful of the rhythm. I started with five tapping. And I slowly went down to just one. I don't know if you noticed that pattern. But it's something that you can do. Maybe you can start with ten tappings, eight, whatever you want, any numbers. But be mindful of the tapping. The main focal points, I'm going to give you a guide that you can take home, that you can be learning with time, and also a link we are going to be sending you to your email that you can click and have it maybe a bookmark to it and whenever you feel this sensation just click on it and know where to tap the point here is not to make you feel physically a sensation no, it's to control what is going on inside. And when I'm saying this helps you with the problems of anxiety and migraines, sometimes migraines are triggered by emotions or something that is triggered from the outside. So doing this can help because also touching this part makes the blood flow a little bit better. So the main focal, focal points will be the sides right here, each of these points, the frontal part of your eye right here. It can also be here where your ear ends right here. I like to do it in the chin sometimes, top of the nose. My favorite will be always in the forehead area. So what you want to go is with the rhythm. Always with the rhythm. One, two, three. 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 One, two. One, two. One, two. Can be two fingers too. One, two. One, two. One, two be this way like this one two one two one two three one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four and going up down whatever your number but it has to be with the rhythm and then we just went tapping you can try yourself Most of the time, our minds is like a computer. We have to know how to trigger its possibilities. Sometimes uh, we have to trick it. We have to trick it into feeling something else, into having something else to be done. Most people, well, some people use, as I was telling you, exercise or work or any other activity to get out of those emotions but it's very important to acknowledge them to feel them and not repress them when we repress these feelings they grow inside of us bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until something triggers them and they explode into something that is out of proportion maybe spill milk maybe someone did something that you didn't like and you explode because we were bottling up all those feelings inside of us. So it's very important to just let them be. Acknowledge, yes, I'm angry. I'm angry. I'm angry. I'm angry. I'm angry. Let them go. Mm -hmm. You can either say it out loud or just think about it. But here the trick is to be mindful, to let them go, to get your mind to focus on your finger doing the rhythm. And when you 
make this exercise with time it will feel normal it will feel something that is part of you and even you can even trigger the whole movement of the body which will be very nice to go for a walk maybe practice some sport or exercise is always a good idea take some sunlight also helps but in the meantime we can also trigger in our wrist right here that where all this information is going to be sent to your email an easy guide to follow and also print out right here in our reception Now, we're going to send you the guide of the special points. It can be in any way you want, but these points here will be best to press because they are connected to our whole nervous system. So when we touch them, it's going to help you relax too. So tell me, how do you feel about this? Some people are skeptical of it. It's completely understandable. But something that science has proved is that movement helps us, helps our mind, help us do more, help us release all the energy that is bottled up in our brains, in our body. So movement is something that is good, no matter how small it is or where you do it mm -hmm. any other questions okay if you have any doubts you can always uh, enter with our website and we have a chat uh, button there that you can shop whenever you want with us and we will now focus you through that movement guide in case that you have questions if you want more therapy done like this, and uh, this was our first therapy uh, appointment, which is to help you learn this by yourself, but we can also do it for you. Let's say on a weekly basis, monthly basis, we can do a whole tapping therapy in your whole body. Right now, what you booked is the learning process, which is what we just did. And the whole therapy will consist on the tapping sensation therapy in your head, your body, certain points, and your feet. Your feet has some certain points of pressure that are amazing for this, but it could be difficult to tap them and trigger them on public. So that's why we don't really teach how to do it on the first session. Our faces are always open so it's easier to trigger this point to feel this relaxation and help with the therapy. I do suggest you to wait at least a week for your next, next therapy in case you want to try that one. Mm -hmm. So I would like to have an exercise with you try this week whenever you feel that your emotions are taking over. Try the technique, see how it feels, if it's relaxing you. Remember, it's something that takes time. It's not something that is going to be immediate because your brain needs to be trained to these triggers. So by the third, third, fourth time, it's going to start feeling more and more normal for your brain. So it's going to start acting up and feeling more calm with it. Oh, Ivan, it was my pleasure. Thank you so much. And you were asking me about the essential oils. We have it in the reception with my assistant. And she's also going to give you your guide and send you the link for your email. It was my pleasure. Please take care and I will see you in a week. Bye-bye.